I can tell you right now that some of the features in Lightwave 10 have made my job much, much easier. I like that there's an emphasis on speed with the interactive rendering. I like that there's tools in there that will make Lightwave play nicer with other packages. I think all these improvements let a small house dream big. This release of Lightwave 10 is so special and we're very excited about it because it really makes the process for the artist very interactive, giving great creative feedback as far as lighting, as far as interactivity, as far as control of the interface. So we're very excited about this version of Lightwave, the new version of Lightwave 10. I'd have to say that my most favorite feature of Lightwave is probably the best eye candy of the program. That would be VPI. But the problem that we have often is uh, the client over the shoulder kind of situation. And with VPR, basically, we can just sit still for a second and have it appear, and they can start to look at it right away. So it's a big, big plus for us. VPR takes the viewport that artists are always working in and makes it interactive and gives them feedback on surfacing and lighting and volume metrics like hypervoxels and volumetric lights. You have so many more opportunities to tweak the colors and to change the look of it and really play with it as an artist and get so much out of it. It is an awesome workflow. Out of all of the real-time 3D rendering uh, options that are available, I have to say that Lightwaves is probably the closest to what you see is what you get. Many out there claim to offer true one-to-one real-time previewing and they're not. Whereas Lightwave 10s, honestly, is really, really close. We had a lot of problems previously with uh, brightness being uh, too high or not enough detail in the blacks. And with the linear color space, that evens everything out uh, quite a bit. Linear color space workflow allows you to control your images and get the most dynamic range possible from every render that you put together so that those final images have all of the details in the highlights, all the details in the shadows, and allow you to just go to town in the compositing stage and make your images even that much greater. More and more, my job is to make the compositor happy. And anything that can make the compositor happy is a huge plus in my book. Virtual Studio tools are very useful for, for users and artists because they allow you to manipulate the interface and the objects and the lights and the cameras as never before. At the high end, you have the VCAM system from InnerSense, which is really a camera system. It looks like a camera, it feels like a camera, and when you zoom in on the camera, it controls the light wave interface and you can zoom in in the interface in real time. So that's a great tool for studios and previs artists and, and those kinds of uh, uh, applications. Another more accessible solution is the 3D connection device. So you actually can control and move through and do virtual walkthroughs. They are one of the most interactive ways to use Lightwave 3D software. It is a completely new workflow and we're very excited about what benefits that bring to the users. The virtual camera stuff is a lot more natural. I don't have to sit there and you know, move you know, horizontally, then you know, switch modes to rotate the camera view. I, I just grab this little knob and I say, well, I want to move forward, pull up a bit, turn, and it's all one hand. Obviously, a lot of the big productions have uh, virtual cameras, vir virtual sets where everyone can plan previs to, well, now with things like Avatar Final Shots, all with a virtual camera. So the fact that we have these tools right now is really cool. If there's one true fact in a modern effects studio, especially the television level, is that we're having to deal with many packages to get the job done. The turnarounds are just that fast that we have to run to whatever will get the job done. And one of the things Lightwave 10 has done for us is they've really rewritten the input-output suite of the program. The combination of the MDD format with FBX, Autodesk Geometry Cache, and Collada allow you to have so many options for getting data into Lightwave and exporting data out of Lightwave to any pipeline. Just the, that it's there, ready to go. Bring in something from Max, so bring it in from Houdini. Okay, now we're ready to render in a very solid rendering package that Lightwave offers. The new stereoscopic tools in Lightwave 10 have made everything so much nicer when it comes to working in stereo projects. I worked on 3D films as far back as 10 years ago, and the advancements that have been made have been amazing. The way that we've implemented dynamic interocular eye separation and also dynamic convergent point 
makes it perfect for moving images and for filmmaking and will allow you to get the highest quality stereoscopic images out of Lightwave. So before you'd have to render a left view, then a right view, then combine them just to make sure your depth is right and being able to see this you know, interactively right in Lightwave itself and be able to fine tune it on a frame by frame basis without ever leaving the application. The new interface in Lightwave 10 has been completely redesigned to allow users to have a more neutral working space. In addition, we have added so many new enhancements and workflow improvements to the interface itself, like the snapshot feature, like the one level down export features. It's really about optimizing the artist's time. The changes that New Tech has made in the Lightwave interface have all been based on improving productivity. It's actually just made the program easier to work with. It's easier to look at, and a lot of the reorganization of some of the options and panels are just grouped much more smartly now, so you can work faster. This is one of the more substantial updates we've seen from New Tech on Lightwave, and it is very hot. The fact that a lot of these things are accessible to someone as an individual or a small company has really made a huge impact, and the images we make really kind of bear that story out. With Lightwave's new advances, we can do work so much faster. It now does all the things that it used to do. It does it faster, it does it more efficiently, and it does it better. We are very excited about Lightwave 10 and the benefits that it offers to the artist. We have been working really hard on this release and the collaboration between our artists and 3D development has allowed us to deliver the most powerful version of Lightwave ever, Lightwave 10.